Hello, everybody. I am Tracy Lewis Stokel. If you don't already know me, I am your host here. And we're going to be talking about something that will revolutionize the way you craft and deliver your online courses. Today, we are going to talk about the power of visual learning and how we can use visuals to enhance your online courses. Visual learning is a dynamic approach, also very hard to say, that taps into the innate human affinity for visuals to boost comprehension, retention, and overall engagement in your educational content. So let's talk about the world of visual learning and learn why it's a crucial element in effective online course creation. So let's start with understanding what visual learning is. Visual learning, also known as visual spatial learning, is a cognitive style that emphasizes the use of visual aids to process, understand, and remember information. It's based on the idea that people absorb and retain knowledge more effectively when it's presented in a visual form, such as images, diagrams, charts, videos, and infographics. So why does visual learning matter in education? Well, visual learning holds immense significance in education for several compelling reasons, and I'm going to break down these four big reasons for you. The first, enhanced comprehension. Visuals can simplify complex ideas, breaking them down into more digestible components. We want that, right? Little chunks. We've talked about this before. They provide learners with a clear, intuitive understanding of the subject matter. Number two is increased engagement. Visual content naturally captures the learner's attention and interest. It adds variety to your course materials, breaking the monotony of text-based content and keeping students engaged. Number three, memory and retention. Information presented visually tends to be retained more effectively in memory. This increases the likelihood of long-time learning and application of that knowledge. Number four, universal language. Visuals transcend language barriers, making them an inclusive educational tool for diverse learners from various linguistic backgrounds. Let's talk about incorporating visual learning into your online courses. Now that we understand the significance of visual learning, we'll talk about the ways to effectively integrate uh, that into your online courses. And I've got five steps here for you. Number one, diversify visual content. Don't limit yourself to a single type of visual content. Incorporate a variety of visuals, such as images, diagrams, charts, videos, and interactive simulations to cater to all the different learning preferences. Number two, to simplify complex concepts. When you encounter intricate or challenging ideas, using visuals to break them down into more straightforward and comprehensible components makes them stick better. Visual aids can make complex concepts accessible to learners. Number three, visualize data. Instead of presenting raw data in lengthy textual explanations, transform it into visual representations like graphs and infographics. This approach makes data more accessible and appealing. Remember, engagement matters, so you don't want to lose your learner with a narrative when you can keep them captivated with a simple and attention-grabbing graphic. Number four, storytelling with visuals. We've previously discussed the power of storytelling. Visuals can enhance your narratives by providing a visual backdrop to your stories, making them even more engaging and memorable. And finally, interactive visuals. Consider creating interactive elements that allow your students to engage directly with the content. Examples include drag and drop exercises, clickable diagrams, interactive quizzes. Now, doing this, the all the drag and drop and all that requires a, a software that's not inexpensive and maybe outside of your range as a as a course creator. These are not be all end all things that you must do, just simple suggestions on ways that you can use visuals. So if, you know, if a a complicated software is out of reach for you, that's fine. Just use these tips to sort of brainstorm ways that you can use visuals more effectively. Now let's talk about how we design effective visuals. So creating effective visuals requires thoughtful design. Here are some guidelines to help you craft impactful visual content. First, clarity. 
Ensure that your visuals are clear and easy to understand. Avoid clutter and unnecessary details that might distract from your core message. Number two, relevance. Each visual should serve a specific learning objective. Avoid adding visuals for just mere decoration. They should support the educational goals of your course. Remember, this is the the, the key to everything that you do in your course. If what you want to put in doesn't help you meet an objective, it doesn't belong and you should leave it out, right? Anything that you add that doesn't help you meet an objective is just fluff. Leave it out. Number three, consistency. So maintain a consistent visual style throughout your course to create a polished and professional look. And also inconsistency in your visual style can make your learner use brain calories, trying to figure out like, why is this look different? Why why did they change that? And it's gonna distract from their learning. Number four, accessibility. Make sure your visuals are accessible to all students, including those with disabilities. Provide alternative text and captions for images and videos. Now, we're gonna talk just real briefly about balancing uh, your visuals with text. So while visual learning is a powerful tool, it's crucial to strike a balance between visual and text-based content. Some students may still prefer or require text-based explanations, and different topics may lend themselves better to written content. The key is to find the right blend that suits your course's objectives and your students' needs. So in conclusion, visual learning is a dynamic and effective approach that can enhance engagement, understanding, and retention in your online courses. By thoughtfully incorporating a variety of visuals, you can create a a rich and stimulating learning environment that caters to diverse learning preferences. In the upcoming weeks, we'll continue our exploration of strategies for creating transformative and engaging online courses. Stay with me as we delve into more techniques, including gamification and motivation, to make your online courses even more powerful.